Hey, what's going on YouTube? Um, I don't do this very often, um, but I um, I am moved in such a way by this issue uh, that I feel like doing this. And I think it's important that, uh, that if you are um, impacted by this or moved by this, that you uh, take some action too and, and do something about it. And I wanna share with you guys um, some of my opinions about uh, what you see on the right side of the screen there about this news um, about Clash of Wills. Um, and so for anybody who's been following it, or if you played Clash of Wills last week um, and then have tried to play it again this week, you know that Clash of Wills is um, significantly changed um, and harder um, just based on a, a subtle little tweak um, um, in the boss's AI. And that that is that if you when you cross the threshold of its 50% health, it no longer just kills you. Um, it, uh, it, it just drops you to like 1% health and then you have a massive debuff to how much healing you can get back from, from regular healing skills and things like that. Um, and you would think that's not that big of a change, but for most, um, most of the existing strategies and clears, um, that, uh, that those just no longer work. Um, so I, I got notified, um, the day after this all happened, uh, this was on Thursday. I got notified by somebody who tried to use my clear. Um, that I posted last week um, and they said hey this doesn't work anymore um, and and you know for one reason or another I just haven't had a chance to get back into it and work on it until today and take a look at it and see you know why it doesn't work and what happens um, and I could tell right away why it wasn't going to work I could tell right away what it was I was going to need to do um, to try and recover um, but for one reason or another and I'm going to talk about this in just a second um, you know I have not been able to go back in um, and complete a rank one clear, um, even though I did a rank one clear last week. Um, and so um, if you look on there, it says, you know, in Clash of Wills, Trickster of Unknown Origin, Shenman's End of a Dream deals less damage than originally intended, as changing the attack behavior would result in increased battle difficulty and disproportionately affect the ranking experience, a fix will not be implemented. It's a really odd, it's a really odd message. You know, instead you're gonna get a hundred lapis, yay, and some restores, yay. So now, now it's harder, and we're not doing anything about it. And you're gonna get a hundred lapis and ten more tries at an event that you probably can't beat. So awesome, uh, that's super fun. Um, so here's here's my issue that I have with this, and there's there's four points I want to make. Um, one is that any player who couldn't play last week for any reason, uh, you know, I have a job, I have kids. Uh, I can't sit down and spend three hours building a team uh, and, and run this event a million times to try and do it. I you know, don't have Wi-Fi. I don't have internet. I'm traveling. For any player who just couldn't play last week, they, those players now don't have the same experience that anybody else had last week. Um, and I think that's really unfortunate because you know, for one reason or another, this, this Clash of Wills was quote-unquote easier uh, than other Clash of Wills bosses, um, so much so that even a player like myself was able to get a rank one clear. Um, and I think as somebody who did that and is taking advantage of it and, and is going to benefit from it, that's really unfair. Um, so that's that's something that I think is really important to think about is that, the, that this change is negatively and unfairly impacting players who just didn't have time last week or couldn't play for some reason last week. Um, unfair advantage to players who play the game regularly. Um, two, uh, any player who can't just simply stick a dedicated healer into their team um, is negatively impacted. And this is going to happen in a number for a number of reasons. Maybe you don't have enough EX levels on your healer units to uh, to just stick them into your team. Or maybe by removing a damage dealing unit, you don't have enough damage on your team to get a rank one clear because now you have to stick an otherwise dead slot in. Um, you know, Kresnik is the, 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 probably the main one that people are going to stick in there. And Kresnik does, you know, e even with damage dealing abilities, deals almost no damage. Yes, Kresnik fills morale and does other things for your team. Uh, but otherwise, like, you know, you might be missing out. For me, I can't just stick Kresnik in my team. Uh, I, my Kresnik is only EX plus two. And because I've got two other units that are EX plus two, one of which I can't um, I can't upgrade further to EX plus three because he's time limited and we don't get shard dungeons regularly enough to, uh, to get him up to EX plus three. Um, I would not be able to do it. So if I took, if I took, um, my lowest damage dealer out and put Kresnik in, I would be at EX 15 out of 16. Um, and so that's an issue for me. So this would negatively impact me. So if somebody who got a rank one clear last week suddenly can't do it anymore, um, that's 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 really unfortunate. Um, 
I, I think I'm, I'm going to talk about fixes to all of this in just a second, too. Um, point number three. Um, three out of three of the last Clash of Wills fights have had to be adjusted in the middle of the event. And my issue with that is that supposedly Clash of Wills is where, they're, where the resources are going that aren't bringing us like story events, um, Neo Visions Awakened units, um, and other stuff. And it, a couple of months back, they put out this, this letter that was basically like, hey, we hear your complaints about things. Guess what? You're getting Clash of Wills. Well, now three out of three Clash of Wills fights in the last three months have had to be messed with or adjusted. One was Aldaba. Uh, the AI was wrong and like was murdering players. So, okay, uh, they, they, they quote unquote fixed it and it was still ridiculous. Um, okay, and then, then last month, the, the Dream Wraith, you know, the, it, had the, uh, it had the unescapable sleep mechanic um, that some players were able to take advantage of if they, um, if they had an, a, a, a time limited item with a time limited um, ability upgrade on it um, that, you know, some players just didn't have it. And where that could have been a really neat way to like reward veteran players, they just went in afterwards and were like, eh, you know what? Uh, this is negatively exp affecting the experience. We're going to take it out. We're going to take that mechanic out, and uh, and now it's not that bad. Now anybody can do it. Okay, great. So you're going to go the opposite direction this month? You're going to say, okay, everybody's able to have fun this event. Might as well make it really hard for everybody. And that's where I'm getting to point four, okay? As a player, it feels like to me that issues that directly impact me as a player are not important at all. But then anything that directly impacts them or their content takes a huge priority. Um, so, for example, the friends list is borderline, uh, borderline ineffective, borderline useless. Um, you could have a friend show up without any filters on on one panel, and that friend's nemesis or event unit will not show up. They could be showing up on favorite, but they can't show up on other panels. And so, like if you had a friend build a unit for a specific clear or a specific trial or for something like that they're just not going to show up but they show up on the but they show up on the favorite one but that's not the unit you need because they put it on nemesis and not favorite like it just doesn't work it's worthless okay the claim all button for months i think at least two months now the claim all button claims resources and puts them there but then also doesn't put them there at the same time so like if, if you if you pull a bunch of tickets out of there and then you try to use those tickets you get a failure because the tickets don't actually exist in your inventory even though you claim them um, it, 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 why doesn't that work? How hard is that to fix that? Okay. Visual bugs. Okay. So like last month, the uh, final fantasy one event, you didn't seem to get, uh, event points, even though you were really getting event points and it was confusing a lot of people. Why can't you fix that? That negatively impacts player experiences, but then something like Kaido, right? You advertise that Kaido's, uh, Kaido's Magnus abilities are going to be, uh, available to him, and then it turns out they're only available in Clash of Wills, and it's, then all of a sudden it's like, oops, we, we, we can't have that. We can't have, like, bad advertising, so we're going to go ahead and give it to everybody. Or, uh, or you know, uh, the Dragon Quest die. Uh, you know, his, his ability wasn't... Uh, gonna be it was supposed to only work for certain races and and now the vis the ability on his vision card is going to be apply applicable to everybody making his vision card extremely extremely good uh all because of a marketing or advertising mix-up so that negatively impacts you oh we got to change that right away we got to change that right now you know people are complaining because clash of wills is too easy we got to fix we got to got to fix that we can't have everybody getting rank one but we can't have a working friends list or a working claim all button. We can't have events that, that don't have bugs in them. Like crashes, all kinds of stuff that does, doesn't get fixed because it doesn't directly affect them. It affects the players and not them. So they don't fix it. Like, I think that's, I think that's really bad. And I don't like to complain about stuff. Um, you know, this is a game that people can play for free and there's the game that people can play and spend a lot of money. Um, and I think they should fix things. Okay, so uh, while I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hit too hard on number four, I already talked about number one. Um, here's here's how I would fix each of these things. First and foremost, one, put it back the way it was. Put it back the way it was last week. Let everybody have a fair shake at it. Put it back. All right. Uh, number two, you could negative you could fix this number two by just simply reducing the ex level requirement to fourteen. If you if you if you reduce it from from EX 16 to EX 14, or even EX 15, right? Then you make it so that average 
typical players who 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 don't have ex plus three of every unit or even ex plus two of most units can bring ex zero ex one uh units to their party and still have a fun time and still have fun with your event dropping it from 16 to 14 still incentivizes pulling it encourages you to get units to ex plus two um and then you can you can you can be more flexible if you've got ex plus three but at least getting the ex plus two you know 14 instead of 16 is a really i've thought i've spent a lot of time thinking about it 14 is a good number okay and then number three don't change it in the middle of the month like in the middle of the in the middle of the event don't change it like if you if you find something's wrong hey we made a mistake here's some lapis for everybody for dealing with our mistake don't don't make it like if, if it's like not functioning at all and it's like crashing that's fine but all of the all three of these changes that have got that have been gone in and fixed things have like impacted the uh, the ranking system because some players who couldn't who had the units you know for, for like dream rate some units who had the units but didn't have the item they couldn't get a rank one clear that negatively impacted the ranking system well guess what this change that you just put in is negatively impacting the ranking system now i'm unfortunately uh, and i'll admit this i'm unfortunately taking uh g getting the benefit of it because i'm rank one in this event right let's look at it I'm, i don't mind showing you i'm rank one in this event i got a perfect score last week and my current team that i have i can't do it now uh, because I can't fit Kresnik into my team. I, if I do, I would lose damage, and I don't have enough EX levels to do it. And I'm sorry that that's because I didn't pull on Kresnik because I didn't because I pulled on somebody the month before. Like that's just the way it is. Um, fix your event. Don't fix it in a bad way. Fix it in a good way. And if you're gonna dedicate all your resources to Clash of Wills, make it good. Don't, don't be fi fixing stuff, patching at mid-event because you made mistakes when you're going to leave all of this other stuff missing in the game. Okay? That's all I got right now. Um, I'm, I'm done ranting about it. I, you know, I strongly encourage them to go back and fix it. Just, just put it back the way it was. Most people will be happy about that. I don't think anybody's going to be complaining about being able to, to, to clear this event. Um, but the way it is now is preventing some players from just being able to beat level 99. You know, players who are putting a lot of time and effort into just, just being able to clear it, not even going after rank. They just want to clear it. And the way it is now, I mean, it, it makes it near impossible for some players to even just even attempt it. So um, seriously, I recommend you fix it. Um, if you're if you're being negatively impacted by this event, write them, let them know um, that this is a problem and they need to fix it. So that's all I got. I'm done ranting. Bye.